So have you, um, have you ever failed at anything? Or at least felt that you were a failure? Have you ever felt inside of yourself that you're a loser? You know, those times in life when, you know, we try so hard and we did everything that we were supposed to do and we, we worked at it and worked at it and gave heart and soul to it and wound up disappointed that it didn't turn out the way we wanted. Maybe that's been some of your experience. I don't know. You know, you, uh, you study and study, but you don't get into the school you want. You practice, you practice, but you're not picked for the team. You know, you, you try and you try, but you're not called. You know, maybe sometimes uh, in parenting, you know, you, you do everything for your kids and then they reject some of the values that you raise them in. They, they go another way. Or maybe marriage that you, you thought was made in heaven has put you through some incredible struggles. Or maybe, you know, you've taken care of your health and you've done everything that you're supposed to do. And the doctor comes in and says, I, I see something that I don't like. Or maybe you give yourself heart and soul to a, to a job and then they tell you that they don't need you anymore, you know, that you're laid off. Or maybe you've been the person that's raised a whole family and now you're sitting alone and how come they never visit? How come they never call? Did I fail? And of course not. Of course we didn't fail. Life sometimes doesn't turn out the way we planned. It's a little bit like the first reading, I think. I, I'm praying about that, you know, about uh, someone who gives so much to his vineyard and gives so much and tries so hard, and what he winds up with are wild grapes. I mean, not what he had planned for at all. Maybe he felt like a failure. I remember one time I was given a, a retreat and a sister said to me, you know, um, she said, uh, you have a very impressive resume. I said, oh, well, thanks, sister. She said, uh, why don't you pray about the things that didn't go well, the th when things fall apart, fell apart? And so I did, you know, and I thought at the time I was in French cooking school, you know, and I tried so hard and I did all this stuff and you know, I was up all night long practicing, and then I went into class, and I did my meal, and I brought it to the French chef instructor, and he tasted it, and he says, you expect me to eat this garbage? Throw it out. Oh, I was crushed. So I went back to her, and I said, you know, that's what I prayed about. She said, oh, she said, you prayed about your sour grapes. That's what the first reading's about, I think, for me. Sometimes we have to pray about our sour grapes, the things that um, in the vineyard didn't turn out quite as sweet or juicy or as perfect as we really expected they would be. And the second reading says, just keep on trying. Just keep on doing what you're doing and let the peace of God take you where God wants you to go. The gospel says it too. Jesus said the stone rejected has become the cornerstone. So what are your sour grapes? Uh, what are mine? Because you know what? You're probably the thing that leads us to salvation. 
we'll get a good crop. Amen? Amen. Amen.